Hello, I'm Dustin Kirkland, a product manager at Google. I'm here with Tim Hawken, tech lead for the Kubernetes project at Google. Tim, you've been around Kubernetes since the beginning. You've seen the past, the present, and maybe have some ideas about the future. Walk us through the past, present, and future of, of Kubernetes. Sure. Uh, so, you know, Kubernetes was born at Google, obviously. Uh, took a lot of ideas from Google, but it, it is not uh, exclusively a Google thing. It is, is uh, this community is, is an amazing thing that has happened. Uh, the past, you know, we've spent five years building this system. We're here now with 8,000 of my best friends talking about Kubernetes. It's amazing. Um, to, to have gotten here. Five years ago, I would never have believed that we would be here in Spain uh, talking about this. Uh, here we are today, we're still working in Kubernetes. It is still maturing. It is servicing a way more than we initially thought we would possibly be able to, to address. More use cases, more users, more scale. Um, and in the future, you know, it's still growing. We're still doing more. We're tackling new use cases every day. We got customers and users here all the time uh, talking about this new use case, this new problem. Um, and so uh, I'm excited to see how much more we're going to grow uh, and tackle what's new. And Google is one of the leaders in the Kubernetes project, but not the only one. There's a lot of vendors involved in, in and around Kubernetes and, and other projects. How do you see the role of vendors in, in and around the Kubernetes community? I'm one of the tech leads of the project. I work on a lot of different areas within the project, obviously, uh, and I oversee a lot of work. And I work at Google, and you might think that would be conflicting, but I think it's it's not really. Uh, the leads of the project are very much uh, fanatic, uh, fanatical about being vendor neutral, about being open, about uh, being very transparent. The project is set up in a way that everything we do can be seen by anybody who wants to pay attention. Um, and I think that shows in the quality of the code, the quality and number of contributors, uh, where they're coming from. We have contributors from every time zone on the planet, from almost every continent. I still haven't proved whether we have someone in Antarctica or not. Uh, if you're in Antarctica and you're contributing to Kubernetes, call me. Uh, th this has been a really important part. The vendors, are a critical piece of our ecosystem. Kubernetes would not be successful without the ecosystem. We knew this from the beginning, and I would be happy to say that we're really successful there. Um, but it is still a community-driven project that is uh, not tied or locked into any one vendor. While we have a ton of people at Google who are working on Kubernetes, myself included, they are not exclusively focusing on Google's work. They're working to build the project up at large. And you have, um, you've got a lot of insight uh, with, with a lot of customers, a lot of users, and a lot of community members working with Kubernetes. What are some of the trends you see uh, emerging? Maybe some unexpected trends that you've, or patterns you've seen emerge? So I do, I talk to a lot of customers, uh, and I've definitely seen some emerging trends. Uh, we've passed the point where people are struggling to figure out if they need Kubernetes. Uh, it's more or less assumed now, if you're building big systems, Kubernetes is the way to do it. Uh, but the patterns that we're merging now are scale, large size, how big can my clusters get, how many uh, pods can I run on a node, what, what's the density that I can achieve, how do I drive my utilization. Um, we're talking about multi-cluster situations. I've got clusters around the world, around the country. How do I link them together and make them work together? Um, some of these problems are sort of at the very edges of Kubernetes itself, uh, but I think there's a lot we can do within Kubernetes to make it easier to build solutions uh, that are solving these problems. Um, hybrid is a really hot topic right now. The reality of, you know, people are stuck in other clouds or they're stuck on premises, and there are really good reasons for that. And uh, they're trying to find ways to work across these different environments. Tim, thank you very much.